I kind of look like a Walmart version of Madeline. I've got to say, I did not expect this. I'm sorry, Madeline, and I'm sorry, Sheehan, but this just isn't working for me. What is up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, as you can see by the title, we have a very exciting video because today I'm going to be trying out a collaboration between Sheehan and Madeleine Pesh. For those of you who already watch Riverdale, you'll probably already know who Madeleine Pesh is. She plays Cheryl in the show and honestly, she's actually one of my favorite characters in the show. So when she posted on her Instagram that she is collaborating with Sheehan, I just had to do a video on it. So today I picked up a whole bag of goodies from her collaboration. She's got a couple of pieces. I want to say maybe Maybe like 20 pieces on the website. I kind of just picked up my favorites and I can't wait to show you guys what I think of them and if I think they're worth the money. If you guys are brand new here and have never seen my face before, hi I'm Roxy, welcome to my channel. If you guys want to join the dinosaur family then be sure to subscribe down below. But if you guys want to see what I picked up from the Madeleine X Sheen collaboration then let's get on into the video. Okay so I'm gonna dig straight into the bag because I'm just way too excited. This has come like a week ago and I've just been waiting to open it so badly. Okay, so the first item I see is this little number right here. We've got some tartan slash checkered kind of items. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be the high-waisted pleated skirt. Oh yes, I'm so excited to try this on. So this is what the skirt looks like. I think I paid roughly 13 pounds for this skirt and I feel like it's actually really well made. The thing about everything in this collaboration is actually weirdly affordable which is kind of cool and kind of refreshing just because when brands collaborate with celebrities or actresses or singers whatever they sort of just bump up the price automatically. I think a good example of that is when Cardi B collaborated with Fashion Nova. They sort of just bumped up the prices a little bit. It's still kind of affordable but it is on the pricier side. So when I saw this and everything was actually like under 20 pounds I was like this is a good day. So when I saw this skirt I was like yes I'm so getting this and this is a photo of what it looked like on Madeleine. She actually paired it with another item from her collaboration. Let me try and dig it out. She paired it with this little like zip up turtleneck. It's kind of ribbed and it's got the word slogan on it. This one actually only cost £9.49. On Shein they have like weird half prices. They never have like a full price like 10 pounds they always have like 10 pounds and six pence but here it is how cute is this oh my god i feel like this is so on trend with like the neon and the bright colors recently and this is gonna look so cute with this skirt oh my god i'm gonna look just like her so in total these two items cost just over 22 pounds which is so freaking affordable so let's try these on and see how they look okay so this is the first outfit and i am obsessed this is honestly such a cool and different outfit like i've never never really worn colors like this as much like you guys know I love my yellow but maybe not like full yellow outfit if you know what I mean I think this is such a cool outfit and I feel like if you want to stand out you definitely need to wear this because this is like a really nice way to stand out while still looking wearable I think everything looks exactly how it did in the photo which is amazing the skirt fits really nicely although I wish it was a tiny bit thinner around the waistband like as you can see there I've still got quite a lot of space, but you know, it's still sitting on my hips, which is great. It's still looking high-waisted, so it's not really the end of the world. The actual top, however, fits really nicely. I love the fact that it's ribbed, it's really comfortable, the fabric feels quite thick, and it's not like see-through, you can't see my bra through it or anything. So I'm really, really liking the top and the bottom together. And to be honest, for the amount of money that we paid, I feel like Shein and Madeline need a round of applause because this is actually such a cool outfit and it's still really affordable. So I think I'm gonna give this like a 10 out of 10. I'm actually really liking all of this Now the next outfit that I picked out is this one right here again I absolutely loved the vibe of it I think that Madeline looks beautiful in it and I love the color as well So I basically just decided to pick up the whole outfit as it is I picked up the skirt the corduroy jacket and also the t-shirt So let's start off with the jacket. This is what it looks like Also, I just want to say everything comes in like really nice packaging all branded with Shein It's kind of like a sandwich bag. So there was absolutely Absolutely no damage in the post or anything. Everything is looking pretty good and oh wow. This is it. This is actually really cute. So I've got to say it kind of looks a different color now that I've got it in person versus the photo. On the photo it kind of looks a little bit more like 
pastel-y, but this one is a little bit more brighter. So the actual corduroy jacket, which I've got right here, is more of like a shirt. It's actually quite a thin fabric, and I thought it would be just a little bit thicker, to be honest. But at the same time, it's not a bad quality whatsoever. The corduroy feels quite nice. I paid £18.49 for this, which kind of is a little bit pricey for what it is. But when I think about, like, if I bought this on the high street, it probably would cost somewhere around that anyway. So that's the jacket. Now let's move on to the skirt. I kind of have a love-hate relationship with skirts, especially when they're kind of made of like really sturdy fabric. I really usually need them to be quite stretchy for them to fit well. So this is what it looks like. It's got a zipper, which is great. It allows you to get really easily into the skirt. The band at the top is quite thick as well, but it doesn't really have too much stretch to it. So that's kind of where I'm like, mm, I don't know if it's actually gonna fit me well. This is also what it looks like from the back. By the way, I got everything in a size S. You can have a look on the size chart on Shein if you're worried about what sort of size you need to get. Now the skirt was only $9.99, which isn't bad for a skirt at all, to be honest. Now lastly, we have the t-shirt, which completes the whole outfit. This one was only £8.49, which is sort of something I'd expect to pay for a t-shirt anyways. I've gotta say the design on this is a little bit weird. I'm not really sure what made her go for this particular design. What even is it? It's like an old car with like a tape and then it says 1980 on it. I mean, it's a very strange design, but it goes very well with the outfit she's wearing, so I just thought I'd get it anyway. So this whole outfit right here cost around 38 pounds, give or take, and again, I feel like for a full outfit, that is not a bad price to pay, so let's pop it on and see how this will actually fit. Okay, guys, so I've just put the shirt on, and low-key, it's like a t-shirt dress all by itself. I mean, it's kind of a short t-shirt dress, but this is like hella big. I'm just putting it out there. I am gonna put the rest of the outfit on. I just thought I'd show you guys how long and how like baggy this t-shirt is even though it's a size s so this is the skirt this is the moment of truth <laughs> is it actually gonna fit oh okay wait <sighs> okay so I was really really happy for a second there because I thought this was gonna fit well but as you can see, there is a lot of excess fabric right here. I don't know if this is just my body shape or if any of you guys are out there as well that have this issue, but my hips are just way too big compared to my waist. Like, I always have so much excess fabric at the back like that, even on jeans. Like, why? Why? I mean, it looks okay from the front. Like, it's not bad, but it's just that back bit is really annoying me because there's so much fabric there. And now let's get the actual jacket on or shirt, should I say? I mean, it's not a jacket, is it, really? It's kind of just a corduroy shirt, but they called it a jacket on the website, but... I don't know, it's more of a shirt, I think. Ooh, okay. This is cool, I like this. I mean, I love the color. I love the outfit, like the vibe of it. This isn't really anything I'd ever think to wear, like myself. Like I'd never just plan an outfit and be like, yeah, I'm gonna wear blue corduroy today. But now that I've got it on, it's actually really nice. It is still my style, which is kind of weird because I don't wear color that often. <laughs> to be honest with you guys, I don't really think I have a style, like a distinctive style. There's just a collection of clothes that I either like or I dislike. I don't really put myself in any box or category when it comes to fashion. I just wear whatever I like and I really like this. Okay, what do you guys think? This is the full outfit. To be honest, now that I've got the shirt on, it is covering up the fact that there's so much excess fabric at the back, but from the front, it looks like it's actually fitted pretty well. Yeah, I'm really liking this. I mean, the buttons are kind of annoying because as you can hear, when you walk around, they're just gonna jingle along the way. Okay, so now for the rating, I think I'm gonna give this like a 10 out of 10, and I don't give out 10s very often on my channel, honestly, you guys probably know this. I usually go for like an eight or a nine, but I actually really like this. Maybe minus the t-shirt, it's not really something I would personally wear, but the jacket and the skirt is really bomb, so. It's a 10 out of 10. Okay, the next item I am so excited about, it's basically another whole outfit that I've decided to pretty much buy from the website that Madeline was wearing in this photo right here. She is absolutely working it. I love this photo of her so much and I love the outfit in general. So this is the first item I picked up from the outfit. It's the blazer. So this blazer right here cost me $17.99 and this is sort of what it looks like. It's kind of like a flimsy fabric. It's kind of got like a double breast 
breasted sort of effect. It's got some buttons. It's got a button on the sleeve right here so you can kind of like fold it up. In general, the fabric of this feels really nice. It feels very soft. There's no loose threads. So I feel like it is quite good quality. So, so far, I'm really pleased with the blazer. We then have the shorts, which actually cost £15.49, which is kind of a little bit on the pricier side for shorts, I think. I mean, I probably would have expected like £10 for these, but you know, it's not the end of the world. It's still quite affordable, I think. So these are the shorts. I absolutely love the little frills and they have pockets, which is so cool, but are they actually real pockets? Yes, they are. Oh my God, I'm so excited now. And now lastly, to complete the outfit, I got the same t-shirt that she was wearing with the blazer and the shorts, which is this one right here. It just says espresso yourself, which I think is a very deep quote. <laughs> I actually really love the picture as well. I don't know who that's supposed to be. Maybe it's just not really supposed to be anyone, just a random girl, but I think it's really pretty. And I paid £6.49 for this, which again is really, really affordable for a little graphic tee like this. The quality feels really amazing. It just feels like really soft and not scratchy or anything. So that's amazing. I can't wait to try this on. Okay. I ignore the fact that everything is super creased and I kind of look like a Walmart version of Madeline. You kind of just have to look past the creases and have the vision of what this outfit can be once it's ironed. I am really, really digging this. I love how like girly and really, really soft this outfit is. I mean, the fact that the fabric is like really flowy and soft is really, really nice. And then it's kind of just broken up a little bit by this like really edgy kind of graphic t-shirt, which I'm obsessed with. I think the blade it is really really nice it definitely needs a big big steam or an iron to actually look like what it looked like in the photo I'll just quickly show you guys how it looks once you've sort of put the sleeve up as well I feel like it looks a lot more put together when it's like this and as for the shorts again they are very very creased so let's not judge it by that but I actually really really like them I love the pockets the belt was a little bit fiddly. It doesn't really sit like properly through the loops. I don't know how to explain it, but you know when you kind of tighten a belt, it kind of just goes a little bit like creased around the side. So it definitely took a lot of like effort to actually put it all so that it's like straight through all the loops. And that is of course all down to the fact that the fabric of the belt is the same as the rest of the outfit. It's very like flimsy and floppy. There's no like sturdiness to the belt. So it is a little bit fiddly to actually thread it through, but once you've done that, it looks pretty great. Now I was gonna Gonna give this outfit a full-on 10 out of 10 again but the only thing that's stopping me is the belt situation I just feel like it could have been made a little bit better and a little less fiddly so for that reason I'm gonna give this a 9 out of 10 now the next item I picked up is another little yellow number this is actually a co-ord it's supposed to kind of be like a denim co-ord of two pieces it's a jacket and a skirt okay so this is my first impression the fabric feels really strange. Like, I don't even know how to describe this. Oh my God, what is that? I've got to say, I did not expect this. Like, this is really weird. The fabric isn't actually denim. It just looks like denim, but it kind of feels like one of those, like washing up sort of cloths. Do you know what I mean? Like, do you know the yellow ones? They literally feel like that, which is very strange because in the photo, it looks nothing like this. Like you could actually think that this was denim, but when you're actually up close, it just, you can tell that it's not denim and it kind of feels a bit wet as well. Like, I don't know if it's just because it's cold, but it feels wet and like damp. And then this is the jacket, which is literally just as bad as the skirt. This is so disappointing. What? It is so thin. Okay, so now that I've got this on, it actually doesn't look that bad on as it did off, if that makes any sense. Like, I've got it on and it does kind of look like denim from far away, especially when I'm looking in the viewfinder, it just looks like a regular two-piece, but that still doesn't change how this actually feels on. Like, even as I was putting this on, it just felt like I was putting on a Kleenex or whatever they're called. Like, it's just really bad quality fabric. If I would have known, I would have never purchased this because it is just literally the thinnest material ever. I don't know how to feel about this because up close, I really hate it. I hate how the fabric feels on my body. I don't really want to touch it. And I don't know, the actual inside as well, literally just kind of looks like toilet paper. 
<laughs> I know that's really mean to say, but it's just not the best quality at all. But apart from that, if we ignore the actual quality of the fabric, the actual fit of this outfit is pretty nice. Like the skirt fits really nicely around my waist. The jacket has a really nice crop. It's got a really nice length to the sleeves. So in that aspect, it's actually pretty good, but it's just the fabric that lets it down. It is such a shame because this is such a cool outfit, but I'm going to have to give this like a three out of 10. I'm sorry, Madeline, and I'm sorry, Shein, but this just isn't working for me. Now, the very last item I have to show you guys is this little dress number. So this is kind of like a shirt dress. I paid £18.49 for this, and it's very like flowy, very relaxed. I think Madeline looked amazing with this on, on the website. It's got a long sleeve. It's got buttons kind of like halfway down the dress, and then the bottom is kind of like cinched in at the waist. You've got like a little tie yourself belt on the side, and then it's kind of just like really relaxed and kind of like messy at the bottom, which I really like. But again, we paid £18.49, which I guess is kind of, you know, pricey-ish for what it is because the fabric is very thin. I have a feeling it might even be like see-through. So I don't know how this is gonna look, but let's try it on and see. And this is the very last item. I've gotta say, I'm actually quite digging this dress. So it's basically kind of like a fold over situation. You sort of just tie it right on the side here and it kind of has like this crossover effect in the front. I think it definitely transforms a regular like shirt dress into something a little bit more cool. If I was to wear this, I'd probably roll up the sleeves a little bit as well, kind of like that, just to kind of give it a little bit more like structure, if you know what I mean. When I pulled this out of the packet, I really thought that this was gonna be so see-through, but actually now that I've got it on, it is not see-through at all. I mean, the top half, maybe a tiny bit, but I'm wearing a nude bra anyways. I really thought you guys could see my underwear under this because I'm not wearing like nude or white underwear. I'm wearing like colorful underwear. So I was like, oh God, you're gonna see everything. But actually, you can't see a single thing. So Madeline girl, you have snapped. But overall, I quite like this dress. So I'm gonna give this like a seven out of 10. So that was everything for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know which one of these outfits was your favorite and what do you guys think about the Madeline X Shein collaboration in general. I really was off to a good start with this whole video and I was thinking, oh my God, everything's gonna be amazing. Everything's so affordable. But I've got to say that two piece number really threw me off. I don't know what it is, but the quality of that just really was was so off and the price that we paid for it as well like I did say it was a little bit expensive but it was a two-piece so at the same time it wasn't but then when I saw the quality I was like this is way too expensive for what it is and I've got to say I am quite disappointed about that one however everything else was pretty great but that is all from me thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video bye Mwah.